Amy C, a pleasure to have you on the program. I want us to first speak about this decision to uh, downgrade that airport in, in Limpopo. Uh, what do you make of it? Uh, thank you very much, and let me also greet the viewers. Uh, indeed, it is a disappointment that we were downgraded by findings that, uh, like you have already indicated, when we were evaluated uh, just after the opening, after the long uh, lockdown, we found we were found that we are lacking in some of the areas. And uh, I need to also say to the Limpopo people and the people of South Africa that indeed it had an economic impact. Remember that the first economic impact that happened was the lockdown itself. The airport closed. And what we have realized is that we, we don't only have ourselves. We have stakeholders. The stakeholders are the business people. Uh, the airline itself, the shops that are there, the car rentals that we're already picking up before. So this has done a double blow for the a, a province, but also it has reduced uh, the number of people that were starting to use airline to come into our province. It means the hotels as well have been impacted. So we are taking this issue very, very seriously. And uh, like your issue that you are raising to say, what is it that we have done now mm. as the department and the Limpopo government? Uh, the department has actually engaged uh, with the 14 findings that were found by the inspectors when they came. And we found that out of the 14 uh, uh, findings, one of the things that we should be able to do is to second staff so that then we can have the executive management at GAL. You you'll know that uh, after uh, there were some problems at the airport, there were quite a number of executives that were taken through disciplinary processes, mm. and that actually left us with some uh, vacancies at the airport itself. So we have seconded staff with the requisite uh, uh, management skills to be able to assist. We have got an acting CEO, we have got a head a team director at the level of human resource. We have also got the team that is dealing with the financial management of the airport, which then that also start to look at the economic impact. We also, uh, when, when we were downgraded, uh, when the findings came out, as a department last year, you will remember that I took out an, in, a, an invite for people with the relevant re requisite skills to come and participate in our board. And as we're being downgraded, on the 1st of March, I appointed the board of directors. And I can safely say they have got aviation skills, they have got legal knowledge, they have got financial management and general management of issues. So in this package, uh, as a province and as a department, we are hoping that we, we are on the right track to be able to start to deal with some of the issues. You say you're on the right track and you also speak about the department having made the swift intervention since the downgrade and have so far attended and fixed uh, uh, 10 of the 14 security problems that have been identified. But I, I do want to get a sense of how soon are you planning to restore the commercial activity at this airport? Um, you know, the, 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 the part of how soon is very critical because currently mm -hmm. Out of the 14, like you have indicated, we have dealt with 10. The four outstanding queries that are there now, they are construction. And the construction issues that we have now, they are going to take us the next three months. So in July, we are sure every construction will be uh, finalized. If you come to our airport now, we are talking about construction that all the service providers are already in the field. And when the construction is happening, we have come up with a process that is going to include the members of the board and also the executive management of GAL and us as a department. The process is going to include inviting back the a, a inspectors to come a, take a look at what we have done to say, indeed, it's not only on paper, this is also physical. That process just has to happen. The second issue is us meeting with the stakeholder and sister departments. You know that the airport also services other departments and the main uh, department is your leader on tourism. And now we are talking about the airport that is supposed to be a beneficiary into the SEZ of a uh, Musina Makado. So those are the stakeholders that we still need to sit down with 
and we'll do that within this process. We need to go back to the airlines themselves and also start to talk to other airlines that will want to come back and fly into the province. So that, that process, the board and the executive management and ourselves as a department, we are starting to line it up so that then by the time the construction is finished, also those discussions should be up to speed. That's the Community Safety MEC in Limpopo, Mavongo Lerule Ramakanya.